huge channel everybody i know it's been a while it's been four weeks we don't talk about it i just received an incredible delivery and i asked you all if you're interested in this and most of you guys said yes so i can't wait to show you my uniqlo x marnie haul because yeah i just received these items and well i'm not gonna make a too long backup story of marnie because i think it's just like one click away to get to know more about marnie the brand but you know that uniqlo is doing a lot of designer collaborations and actually they are like in terms of fast fashion but in general overall as well they're doing like the best collaborations ever you know they have the ongoing one with the jw anderson um the, the uh, christophe le maire is uh, designing the uniqlo collection now they have marnie they have marie mecco ongoing but i'm not going to talk about marie mecco because it's like too flowerish for me but anyway i love marnie especially in the last two years i feel like the brand has changed completely and i guess they have like complete creative freedom and you definitely see these in this on the runway and the installation of the runways in the in the single pieces the designs it's, it's getting more and more artistic and that's what something i love about the brand so you should definitely check that out but that's like a huge other topic i think there could be like 10 other videos about marnie but first of all if you like these videos don't forget to subscribe or follow me on instagram uh, where i share these kind of content and let's start i think i'm just gonna unpack it and uh, we're gonna check like two main things um, of this collection first of all it's the quality and uh, i want to make sure do we have here the quality of marnie when we're speaking of course it's like one tenth uh the price of a usual money piece so definitely they will have to decrease somewhere some some kind of quality or something but let's check about this and the second is the design which is like even more important than the quality i guess for a lot of people when it comes to these kind of collections in how far do we really see like some marniism or could like uniqlo have done just the same and it's just simply a sales driver so let's check it i don't know which i i ordered a lot of pieces men's wear and women's wear and let's see oh it's funny because I also ordered some JW pieces. So this is a sweater from the men's collection. And I just thought it's super sweet. And I didn't have a look at the men's, uh, at the JW pieces for a pretty long time. So this is a sweater. I think it's pretty sweet. I mean, it has just a sailboat on it. It could have been like a vintage sweater as well, but I cannot, I mean, I love secondhand. Um, it's fine when it's outerwear or something, but I don't like it when it's like sweats and stuff. This one's been 39 at like 40 euros and it's 100% cotton, which is great. I have to say it feels super comfy. It's super soft and I really love it's the design and you know, I have nothing in light colors for summer, especially I think I kind of need these kind of pieces as well because they had it in navy. But you know what, I th a navy sweater with a sweatshirt to me seemed really cliche, like intentionally preppy. Well, I have enough navy, so that's what I mean. Uh, this is a great option. Um, I will style the pieces as well so you can have a look. Uh, I think this is a great option for summer. I love that the sailboat has like different fabrics here. You know, it's like you have these stripes. So it's, it's the same fabric, but it has different designs. You have three different fabrics here. You have this blue one, these stripes and these stripes. I think it's pretty sweet and I can really imagine like wearing it with a cap or something. So that's a sweet choice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is the most expensive piece that I got. And I was actually like, honestly, really thinking like, do I need to order this? Because it's a huge, it's a raincoat. And I think I need, I definitely need to style it because otherwise you will not get it at all. Like, let's have a look. Okay, I have to say the quality seems nice. The quality looks nice. And look at the color contrast. That's the, also the reason why I got it. They have it in a different color as well. This is, um, unisex i guess because i think i saw it at men's and women's it's it wasn't as cheap it's 150 euros it says it's timeless essentials remix that's what the mario collection overall is called 
uh, and it is do they have any information about this so i mean this one since this is like block tech technology because it's a rain code it's uh it's waterproof it is not it is what is it oh okay so it says it's a, a woman's parka by the way i'm sorry but um we don't mind so the facing is 66 percent polyester and 34 percent cotton okay i'm gonna show you around so i have to say the color is intense and it has this beautiful texture you know it seems like it's not only it's not like typically i think this is the cotton part actually about it you have this um you have this hood and it also functions a little bit like a cap you know because this part here is stiff and now let's open it okay it's amazing the color is amazing the inlay it's actually it's definitely better than my vetement raincoat that i bought like i don't know five years ago which is disastrous uh it just looks horrible here again okay we don't have a, like other pockets you know i'm uh, i love that they um close the stitches here with another plastic like fabric because i tell you there are a lot of brands that don't do it anyway so i have to say this looks beautiful the outside I, this is not my color i mean let's be honest khaki is not my color especially not when it's a functional jacket but i have to say in contrast with this i mean i was really not expecting to like it i have to say it was just like oh it looks nice i want to show you guys how it looks but right now and i have to say the beautiful turquoise tone here it's it doesn't even appear as good on camera as in real life so you have a pocket here and this pocket here is like also closed pretty can i open it no it's not it's really like stitched here so you actually have to go like this you cannot open it which is fine i like it when pockets are not being opened you know they i don't like it when when you have all your trash in here because i'm that person so here you have this thing um i think it's i don't know if it's wanted i can't, don't think so but it's the stitch of this thing here which is a design element i guess uh but it turned into this appearing so okay i will wear it and i will check it out but i have to say my first first look i'm actually pretty amazed right now this is not going well because i thought um this would be trashy but it's not so of course we didn't talk now about the fact if this is like marnie style um how would you describe marnie style i mean please write down below how would you feel like what the marnie brand is for you to me marnie is definitely a very experimental but it used to be a very happy brand to me and i know that it's huge in asia and i know that uniqlo since it's originally like um uh, japanese it of course has a very strong connections to brands that work well um in in asia uh, which is like Giuseppe Armani, um le mer etc so yeah as we all know asian uh, countries just know best which designers are good because none of the european brands and fast fashion retailers have a clue of good designers to work with just under i mean just like being capable of convincing just under to work with you and you do fast fashion i mean that's incredible it's it's incredible so um i i feel like this has a lot of marnie attitude definitely of their main line sort of which is a lot more commercial um not that very artistic things that i talked about you don't have uh, it's very color blocky it's very minimalistic it's very technological it's it has this uh a bit monochromatic but also genderless appeal about it so this is definitely something i see here but it's not like revolutionary in design or something but it's a very well made raincoat that will probably keep you not warm but uh, dry and it has a, a, it looks amazing and i guess like in comparison overall it still has a good price so coming to the next piece oh okay this was a piece i was pretty sad because i ordered the day um everything uh, the 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 launch actually happened and so many pieces were already sold out so we're coming to women's wear which is a bit more tricky to me 
um, because I'm a bit more strict when it comes to women's wear uh, because I want it to fit perfectly or the quality to be amazing and I don't know men's wear is usually like since it never fits perfectly on my body I have a lot uh, I can compromise a lot more but when it's women's wear I have to say I guess I'm a bit more critical and I have to say it doesn't go well for the skirt right now so this is a very typical cloudy puffy marmy skirt not my style at all let's be honest not my style uh, i can really imagine people wearing this first of all this this band here uh this um, ribbon or how do you call it plastic band i it doesn't speak for quality okay this is not five thousand euros it's oh wow it's 70. Uh, I have to say that's a lot. So this is a size extra small and it looks extra small. All made in China, by the way, uh, which is not an issue because we know that China has the expertise and the, the potential, of course, to produce everything and every quality wanted. So it's a misconception, which is pretty sad that everything made in China is bad. You decide which quality you get or which factory it comes from. First of all, I have never seen this big of a booklet anywhere in any like is this a is this a design piece of marnie in here because this looks like a design piece of marnie in here it does look one of, like one of their flowers right on their shirts i of course did not order any of those flowers because i have to say i hate them i have to say i don't like this one either uh, i wasn't a fan when i ordered it as i said i want to show you the pieces i will wear it anyway and show you i have to say it looks cheap uh, and it's not even the, the uh, I think it's the design that makes it look not very strong in quality. Um, I have to say, I think it's cool that they made their logo pretty pretty close to their to the Marnie logo, which is fine. I mean, just in comparison, maybe a real Marnie piece. I mean, what does real mean? So this is a Marnie shirt I got last year in a German um, shop and it's a, is it a men's shirt? No, I don't think so. So here you see like the, the, uh, the logo and the, the etiquette and here it does look, it is very strongly inspired by it. Yeah, they try to recreate it's a similar fabric I would say anyway, but that's the last thing that's important actually about this piece. Marnie loves to use cotton. I mean, you know, a lot of shirts of the brand, um, they usually have a lot of lightweight things. And as I said, if you do not create like too many textural things, they do not have a lot of dresses that are like draped. Uh, not a lot of complicated things. I feel like a lot of designs are very easy at Marnie, which doesn't mean it's bad, but it's easy. And easy to me is usually very boring and I don't tend to wear it. I really like this one and it's I think the first time ever that I loved a logo somewhere because it was like hand stitch like you know when your mom used to do these kind of things my mom never did um, that's a different topic but yeah it's huge I wore it once I still like it very much but I have to say the feeling of the pieces are very close and I mean let's be honest this one costs I think I got it in sale for like 150 and I think it was usually the normal price was, was like 350 This one's 70 I still don't, I mean, as I said, the fabric is, I don't like the fabric. It's 70 euros, but I don't feel like the quality is way worse than, than the original pieces. And the original pieces don't have a bad quality, but it usually, usually seems pretty simple. So I don't have no idea what this is. Ah, oh my god, this is the navy. Oh. You know what I hate? When people call something navy and it's absolutely lilac and not navy. Wow, what have I done? Okay. Ooh, this has potential though. This has potential though when it comes to the fit because nothing better than a good fitting pant. I love, um, it has this very strong dad inspired um, loose fit end and it has a bit like an egg shape. So I will try this one on. It looks good. This one cost 60 euros. 10 euros less than the skirt. Definitely better 
uh, investment but it's a hundred percent polyester you see you cannot get all of it you either get the quality or the design guys i tell you this is a size s and i think it was menswear yeah it's menswear i got i think i got a blazer for this one as well whoa so this is another jacket that's jw i wanted to show you some jw's as well Ooh. oh also jw i'm sorry i needed to pick some because summer is starting and Ooh, I just have a small head. My head is small. You do it so well. Ah, shit. I almost died because of this. So, um. Ah, okay. I got this shirt for it to make it a mesh because I love sets. I have to say, I'm getting kind of bored because the fashion industry also dis destroyed. Ah. Uh, had this one I ordered this one to for the skirt oh god wow this is so boring I don't know why I even ordered it it was only 35 euros it has is it linen it feels very much like a very light cotton or linen it's 100% cotton again made in China mm, I don't know if I can even wear this this will, will make not even my mom happy you have also like the buttons at the back i have to say again the quality looks good it's it looks very good for the uh, for the price and you have like still a design element these stitches here it's it's they start to you know they're open from this point on so it's ma it makes it a bit more interesting but honestly it's very grandma like i'm not gonna lie it's very grandma I also got this one from Men's because I wanted to have something which is like typical Marnie because I felt like, you know, the pants, the jacket and stuff, I didn't like really get the Marnie flair because I didn't order anything um, Marnie-esque. So I thought, okay, this Men's one, which kind of looks like it's out of a Simpsons movie or something, I don't know. Um, I ordered it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's long sleeve. I mean, first of all, I think I have to differentiate between the design and quality again because the design is really not going crazy. It's 50 euros. Again, 100% cotton. Um, it looks like it's out of a SpongeBob film, you know, like the cliche father's shirt. And you know what my problem is? It's not funny enough. The problem with Marnie is they are creating like these very funny pieces, like potentially funny but they're not I, I think you just always have to exaggerate whatever your design focus is you need to exaggerate it as much as possible to get the best version possible and at Marnie I usually have the feeling like they're trying to be a bit sweet and funny but just because you have like this tartan pattern which is like a bit wavy and that's it it's not it for me Oh wow, maybe I'm not in a good mood, I don't know. Didn't I have a blazer? I could swear, oh no, I didn't know it. Okay, I have these shorts, men's shorts. I wanted to wear these ones with the, um, with my block tech jacket. It's, oh wow, okay. It's pretty wide. Um, I, I got to size S because I was like, okay, my booty will probably fit in here. It's 35 euros, so it was really, it was not expensive at all. I assume it's again 100% cotton, which is the case. They have this in olive and again in this navy, which is absolutely not navy. Please, uh, Unico will change it immediately. Oh, uh, I just have something against these waistbands. And you know what's even worse? Oh no. It's just not chic. I I don't want to say I'm not sophisticated, but actually I just like some certain degree of sophistication on things. And here I just feel like this could also have been like H&M men's, honestly. The fit is of course a bit different. I felt like I looked like a UPS driver. I wanted to look like a UPS driver. Can I? Okay, so yeah, it's 
um, it's well made. I have to say again, you have here inside, you also have this band where you can make it a bit tighter. Even worse for me, it's not getting any be better for these shorts. The length will be horrible on me because I think it, they're too long. So they will make me look even smaller and that's not something I crave to. Um, yeah, let's have a look and um, wear it and let me just, I mean, maybe I can just look like your UPS driver. So these were the Marnie pieces. I just want to show you which I got of personal interest. Some only some, some JW pieces. And since I'm a huge um, polo shirt fan, especially the ones from my dad, I usually wear the ones from my dad. This is one, I love the color code and it looks a bit like my, my um, home country, city's football. Uh, football team's color i'm not gonna say which one is 30 euros i need to check how it looks like it's a basically a polo shirt with pique uh, fabric and i just like the color block they also have a different color combination and i got this piece also which is a very oh god okay 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 it's not what i expected it to be um, it's a like cotton outerwear jacket. Wow, this is so not me on so many different levels. Um, <clears throat> I thought it's like sweet, you know. I thought it's maybe like the Marnie one, but a bit easier to wear because it's cotton and not this raincoat feeling and a bit comfy. Like this is sweet, but it's also a lot of trash. Like don't produce trash, please, Oniko. We don't need this. I don't know what they have this for. Not as much. Please don't produce so much plastic. Interesting design features. A different color here. Other interesting design features. I don't see any. I will try it on. Um, you know, like here, the inlay is a bit color coordinated. Um, this is menswear, by the way. You have here a little logo uh, here on the left. I think I like that it's like uh, in the same color, so it doesn't appear too much. Uh, I need to check because I actually wanted to have this workwear jacket from Kahat uh, that seems to be like very uh, popular right now but I didn't get it yet and I'm not sure if it's only trend or if I really want it because usually it's not my style. So this is another piece and I think that's it. And this one which almost um, choked me and killed me. So let's have a look at the pieces. I showed you all, everything in terms of the pieces themselves and let me try to style them. Hello, I'm back again and I just changed my position because I just kind of like it here more. Um, 
I think it's, it's a nice setup. It's like in a cafe, but in my kitchen. So I think it was extremely helpful that I actually tried the pieces on because there are some pieces where I completely changed my mind and you might guess which pieces, but this one was one which I already loved. So starting with the block tag coat, I think it's a cool piece. You really need to think if you need a coat like that. My problem usually is with these block tag coats, what is their purpose and do I have any activities where I will need it? I tell you, I usually freeze a lot, I need something, I have wool in, I, ha I need something, or even, even if it's polyester, but something that keeps me warm. So usually these raincoats, which are absolutely finesse, for example, those of Castle Editions and stuff, I love their fit, they're like so um, neat and, um, and precise, and I love the edgy cuts and everything. But I just had no occasion to wear it because usually I just need a warm coat or I don't wear or I just wear a blazer. So you need to think about that because it's not super cheap as well. But I love um, how it's made, it has impeccable quality. Okay, ich will mehr. Yeah? yeah. So the coat is pretty cool. The um, shorts are, I have to say, I didn't like them when I looked at them, but they look pretty cool and very versatile. I started with almost everything as you saw. I love the polo shirt, which is from the JW collection. Um, the skirt is not necessary, the top is not necessary. If it's your style, the top is sweet and it seems like it's pretty versatile as well, so you should, can go with it. The biggest disappointment for me was the men's pants, which was navy, not navy, this lilac color. So uh, I would not recommend getting that, that one. But uh, the other pieces, as I said, the shirt, the shorts, the, the outerwear jacket is pretty cool. Um, you can go with it. And yeah, you need to be in your position, Isa. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yes, and I think um, these were around about all the looks. And tell me what you liked about the Marnie collection. Is there, has there been a piece that you liked a lot or. Um, <laughs> And um, what do you think in general about these kind of collections? We cannot, we cannot. Uh, what do you think about these designer collections? As you know, I was a fan, I think, of the first designer collection, but now of the second. I'm genuinely a fan of Uniqlo U, which is designed by the Lemaire. Usually disappointed by W, but this time, the other jacket, you, it is doable, the, the navy one from JW that I wore, it's not necessary, I would say. So what is your opinion on that? I'd really like to know that. Who are the people getting those? Because obviously, either it's not stocked a lot, but it's sold out immediately, so. Okay, where are you going, Lisa? Yeah, yeah.